Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try in this tutorial. You're going to be learning how you can easily color grid your images using Capture One. So the version I'm using for Capture One is Capture One 21 and those that always hit the comment section asking about the software I'm using. I'm using Capture One 21. So Capture One is a processing software that is going to help you color grade better and more professionally and have the best results as I'm about to show you. And after this tutorial you're going to be understanding and doing the color grading by yourself in an easy way or in the easiest way possible within capture one so without further ado let's get started and if i told you find the video helpful i request that you hit the like button on this video because it's going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people out there and you can see this is the image before and after you can see how warm and nice or even the skin tones have gotten to be in uh, the after image you can see that we had inconsistent skin tones regarding uh, the skin of the model but in the after we have our skin tones looking very nice warm and even so i want to show you i can easily achieve this so i'm just going to turn this off and simply reset my image so when it comes to capture one basically you have some adjustments that look familiar like uh, the basic adjustments the exposure and the dynamic range tools like you have in the camera roll or even lightroom then also if at all you'd love to follow along and if at all you want your workspace to look like mine you can simply come to window come to workspace and simply come to migration right here so like I said, always correct the lighting and contrast issues before you can proceed to color grade. So for this image, I just do some simple basic adjustments, which include coming and adding some tiny contrast, just to around three, and taking the highlights down a little bit, and simply coming down here, right here, to my levels, and I'll simply drag the blacks in to add more contrast to the image just like that so i'm just going to take that up a little bit so right now the image looks contrasty and it looks okay so i'll just come and turn on my exposure warning and you can see that it's not showing any clipping or it is not showing any overly exposed areas so always turn this on because let me just show you for purposes of demonstration so if at all i tend to overexpose some areas you can see the teeth right here are getting this red uh, mask around the meaning these areas are going to be overly exposed so that is the advantage of turning on the ex exposure warning in capture one so right now after turning it on you can see the image is now not showing any clipping anywhere meaning the image is good to go so after correcting the contrast issues we're just going to scroll all the way down to our color editor and if i told you you're lacking any tool in your capture one simply right click anywhere where you have the tool options right here right click and come to add tool and you can add whichever tool you're lacking in your capture one so i have come down to my color editor and under color editor we have basic advanced and we have skin tone so when it comes to skin tones in caption we always first of all want to have a very nice and even skin color or skin tones sometimes we tend to have that kind of discoloration or color mismatch or a difference or even a variation within the skin color as a result of makeup or some other stuff so what we're going to do we're just going to first of all make sure that we have even skin tone and in order to do that we're just going to come to color editor and select skin tone and we have the color picker tool right here but the first thing you have to take into consideration you shouldn't color grade on your background image so you can see in caption we also have layers so for whichever color grading that you're going to do on your image, always make sure that you do that color grading on a different layer so that you can easily make adjustments later on if at all you go overboard or you can even 
turn down the opacity if at all you tend to go overboard with your color grading so we're just going to create a new field adjustment layer by simply right clicking on this plus icon so when you right click you simply come to new field adjustment layer so it is on this layer that we want to create even skin tones for this model so we're just going to come back to our color editor option or tool in capture one and select the color picker tool so after doing this we're just going to choose a sample of the skin tone that we want the rest of the model skin to look like so for this case i'm just going to choose a skin tone of around because I, I prefer a warm skin tone so i'll just go in for a skin tone about this area and as soon as i click on that area you can see it shows me the colors that fall within the selected range so you can see that this area that we have sampled contains yellows orange reds and magentas so after that we can zoom out so after zooming out we're just going to come straight to our uniformity and like it says you can see that the color that we chose is this very color so as soon as you click on a given color you can see that it changes to that selected color so i'm just going to choose this color once again so we want the rest of the skin tone to look like or resemble this very color that we have chosen so we're just going to come to uniformity and simply come to the hue and start taking up the hue and as you're doing that you can notice that the skin tends to look a little bit uniform and we are as well going to take up the saturation slightly so you have to move these sliders as you're looking at the image as you're taking these sliders up up to when the skin is looking uh, uniform up to maybe your taste or your liking so this is okay but remember as we are doing this it tends to affect areas for example that contain yellows and reds for example the makeup lipstick eyeshadow and everything or even the outfit of the model can be affected with this kind of technique so remember we created a layer that contains this meaning you can correct that later on after color grading so we are simply going to come back to our color editor right here and you can start we have amount so when you feel like you have over made the image for example to yellow you can simply come to the option that says amount and under amount you can simply add or make the image have more magenta skin tones or if at all you have evened out the skin tones and the image is turning to look a little bit more on the magenta side you can simply move the hue slider towards the right hand side which is the opposite of magenta which is the green color so for this case i'm just going to put a little bit of greens you know simply take down the lightness to add a more contrasty skin tone so when you're done working on the skin tone the next thing is going to be the color balance so under color balance you can add a specific color to the shadows the mid-tones or even the highlights so you can come or if at all you feel like you want to cool up the cool down the shadows you can simply come click in the middle and drag this towards the color side or you can add whichever color that you want by simply dragging this to the color that you want so i just call my shadows a little bit so you can as well move this towards the edge and you can set it's going to move that circle towards so the more it is close to the edge the more saturated that color is going to be and the closer it is to the center the less saturated that color is going to be so i just call that down a little then i'll simply come the midtones and under midtones i'm just going to warm up my midtones and simply reduce on the intensity just like that a little bit so this is okay and for my highlights i'm just going to add just a simple cyan look just a little bit so i just reduce on the intensity just like that so right now we are done working on the skin tone but this has as well affected our all the models here if at all i'm to turn on the before and after you can see that the hair has also been affected by the color grading or even the lipstick or even the eyeshadow of the model so in order to alternate or to delete the color grading from this remember we created 
a layer that is containing our color grading. So if I told you can turn this on and off, you can see that our color grading is on a way different layer. So in order to eliminate it from there, simply come and get the eraser tool. You can simply use E as a shortcut and you can increase on the size of your eraser by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. So reduce on the size and simply paint on the areas that you don't want to be affected by the color grading. And as soon as I start painting, you can notice that the hair is getting back to its natural color or the color that was meant to be in those areas so just paint in those areas and you can say this is fine and when you feel like you want to make more adjustments on the skin tone simply come to your skin tones and you can simply adjust them accordingly or you can even make them warmer so if at all you have changed the makeup come get your eraser tool and you can erase from uh, maybe the eyes just like that or even the eyeshadow or even the lipstick so this is it and now if at all you feel like you have gone overboard simply come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity of your color grading so you can say quick before and after so this is the before after before after for the color grading and this is how you can easily do color grading within capture and if at all you have found the video helpful i request that you hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe if at all you are a first time viewer of this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating